Another motivational idea is learning that if I can get really good at handling these thoughts and feelings with OCD and turning towards the things in my life I care about and engaging in the present moment and being with people and doing actions and goals that matter, if I can get really good at that, then I am learning a deeper set of skills and attentional um, ability that will serve me in everything I do. So if you imagine if I'm going to do something I care about, like hanging out with my family or um, doing a hobby I like, and I have OCD there in the background and it's ping, ping, pinging with obsessions and giving me the urge to do compulsions, if I can surf that urge and allow those thoughts to come and go and acknowledge them if they're getting up in my face or just let them be there if not. And, and then I can really focus on the people I'm with, the action I'm doing. If I can do that really deeply, then at times when I'm <clears throat> not dealing with all of that, my attention will be so good. You know, it's going to be much deeper. It's like attention training with weights, you know, rather than lifting something that's easy or having someone help you lift something. You're lifting something that's difficult and deepening those grooves of attention and that ability to be in the present moment. And really, you know, if you ask most people, they want more attention. They want to be able to focus more on their life. The high points of their life are when they're deeply engaged and focused and present in the moment. You know, so really that's the, the, the one of the only benefits really of of going through this crisis in this difficult time is if you can work on these skills and relentlessly persistently keep going even when your mind does crazy things to try and pull you back in or it comes up with new themes or new variations of uncertainty if you can persist and keep going you're going to have a skill that is there for you the rest of your life as you navigate the ups and downs of, it, of a human life, which can be painful, right? We all know it can be tough to be a human at times. So if we have that skill, it's going to help us with other things, you know, to be focused and present. And it's going to improve our effectiveness and our ability to be good at our work, to be good at our hobbies, to be the person we want to be with the, the people we care about in our life, because our attention is our best gift to people.